Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this uh, Whole Foods Market Kitchens. This is the Pork Carnitas Burrito. Um, it is, it's hard to read, but it says rice, black beans, and pork carnitas with salsa verde and a flour tortilla. Um, this is refrigerated. You buy it at Whole Foods, of course. It's in the refrigerated section over there where, um, it's, for ours, it's right next to where the salads are. There's like a refrigerated section. This is where it's at. Um, so it's 570 calories if you eat the whole burrito. It costs $7.99. I forgot to say that. Whole Foods, $7.99. So eight bucks for a burrito. That's kind of expensive, but it looks like it's made right in house. Um, anyway, 570 calories. There's your other info. So to microwave this, and I don't see any other directions, we're going to loosen the wrap and place on a microwave safe dish. Um, heat on high for two to two and a half minutes, rotating halfway through, let stand one minute. So um, my turntable rotates, so I'm not going to worry about rotating it halfway through. But um, yeah, it just says loosen the wrapper. So Here's the paper wrapper. I'm assuming you just want to like vent it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, it looks like it actually it's kind of wet looking, but yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna let it sit just like this and I'm gonna put it on a paper plate and I'll be back. All right, so I'll put it in the microwave for two minutes and 15 seconds because it said two to two and a half, so I kind of split it in the middle. Um, tell you what, it's a very wet burrito. I mean, it's very just wet, wet all over, wet, wet, wet. I kind of like to get it all this wet paper, but I don't know how I can. Kind of soggy. Let me cut it in half and see what it looks like. It looks pretty well stuffed, but it's very, this is very, very wet. It's a big burrito though. I mean, well, it's, it's full of stuff. Cut. Tag on you. There we go. So you can kind of see how how full it is. Lots of uh, looks like it's got a lot of black beans. Like that's all black bean right there. So I'm going to probably cut this into some smaller pieces. I see lots of rice too. Um, it, as you can tell, it looks kind of pasty and it feels kind of pasty. So hopefully it's not that um, that mushy when it sets for a minute. So I'm gonna let it set for a little while. Yeah, very. Uh, very chewy almost feeling texture wise. Yeah, anyway, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back once it's uh, set for just a minute. Hey, I gave it a minute to cool off. I got a fork. I'm just making it a little easier to eat. Um, there we go. There's lots of black beans in this it looks like. Hot. Very, very hot. Um, okay, the first bite, I really got the, the salsa verde, that, that green um, salsa, but I also got really, really strong black bean flavor. Um, and black beans can be kind of bitter. Those were kind of bitter. This one doesn't look like it has as many black beans in it, but it looks like it has a lot of pork. Um, They could have left the black beans out completely. I would have been perfectly fine. I wish they'd used pinto beans instead of black beans. I don't know why they want to use black beans and everything. Um, Cause pinto beans are a little less um, bitter and strong. So they really, they're still a good filler, but they don't have that really strong flavor. Hmm. Now that was a much better bite. So if you get a bite that doesn't have all, I mean like, hold on. This is some of the filling. Look at this. It's pure black beans, almost like almost like refried beans with black beans. Um, it's way, way, way too strong flavor-wise. And if you can get a bite that just has a little bit of black beans in it, it's actually pretty decent. Um, but it's I've gotten quite a few. There seems like whoever made this. And like I said, it looks like it's made in-house. Um, they put a big old scoop of black beans like right in the center. They're not really spread out very well. They're just really right blobbed up right in the center. So I was able to kind of get rid of most of it. The rest of it's really good. You get that kind of uh, um, sharp flavor from the uh, salsa verde. It's kind of got a, 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 
a little spark to it, you know, a little freshness of a green chilies. Um, almost like it has vinegar in it, but it's not quite vinegary, it's, but it's kind of like that. Um, the pork is good. I wish it had a little bit more of a, a seasoning in the pork. Like the pork is good, but it doesn't have a lot of like, um, like spices or anything like that. And let me try just some of the pork. Hmm. Yeah, it's got a good texture to it and everything, but the flavor is good. It just doesn't have that, um, really strong seasonings to it, which I've had some pork carnitas that were really, really flavorful. And this is not bad, it's just kind of on the light side. And the tortilla itself, it did get a little um, wet and like chewy almost. Um, it's edible for sure, but it is very, very soft and chewy. Um, so overall, I like the textures okay. Um, the textures are fine. The burrito, like I said, is a little chewy, but I can live with that. It's not bad. Um, the So texture-wise, it's okay. The beans, they're cooked well. They're very mushy. They're not hard or anything like that. It's just the flavor is just way too strong. If they'd spread it out a little thinner, I think it would have been better, but instead they clumped it up, so it's really, really, really strong and bitter. Um, so I think texture-wise, they're fine. Flavor-wise, I wish the black beans weren't in there. Use pinto beans. Um, when you get rid of those, it's not bad. The pork needs more seasoning, um, needs a little bit more of that, that pepper flavor. Really most of the flavor I'm getting is a salsa verde sauce, that green, uh, sauce. Um, you get the really, um, strong green pepper kind of flavor. Um, I wish the pork had a little bit more flavor to it cause I would have really, really would have liked, um, the seasonings in the pork. Um, overall I think it's a good burrito. I don't think it's an $8 burrito, but I do think it's a good burrito. Um, just the fact they're making them in-house is going to make the price a little bit um, more expensive. And it's at Whole Foods, so that's automatically more expensive too. Um, so, I mean, it's not unexpected that it's an $8 burrito. It's just, um, I think they could have got by with a little bit cheaper. The um, the pork carnitas, again, I like the pork. I wish it just had more seasoning to it. So overall, you know, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. I really do like it. I would definitely buy it again. Um, I wonder... They're they're pre-made, so you can't get them to make it for you fresh. But if I if I could get them to make it, I would say no beans. Um, but yeah, I think it's good. Three and a half out of five. I think that's a fair uh, number for it. If you don't like black beans, you probably don't want to get this one because it's it's got quite a few in there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.